What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist and boy do we have some game changing news today. So I'm just going to start right off talking with a big bombshell and that is that the robot UR025 from the Black Fortress Warhammer Quest game is not what we all thought it was. So there was speculation that maybe it was an Adeptus Mechanicus uh, construct or a robot or something like that, but there's a few leaks as to what he actually is. And he is a man of iron. That is some crazy shit, cuz we finally have a model for the men of iron. Uh, it's not what I was expecting, cuz I always thought men of iron were like these Terminator looking robots. That just turns they look more Mechanicus than anything. So basically, what is a man of iron, you might ask? It's a sentient robot that is capable of learning and humans created these robots at the time known as the Dark Age of Technology. Then, these robots began to evolve, their AI became more intelligent, and they ended up revolting against the human overlords. A huge massive war broke out, and it was so brutal that humanity was hurled into the Age of Strife, aka a shit ton of chaos. Literally, it was so bad that this was when the Emperor actually had to step in and act. So as you can see, these Men of Iron are pretty badass. Um, anyway, the Men of Iron left behind a tragic legacy, so much so that the Imperium and the Adeptus Mechanicus have all artificial intelligence banned. So, we, it was believed that most of the Men of Iron have perished, that they're all kept in like chambers and whatnot, but here we have one, sentient and ready to rumble. Now, not only is UR025 a playable race, but we do get a little bit of backstory into him. So basically, everybody's like, what is this robot? Like, what's he doing here? And pretty much UR has been telling them that he is an Imperial sanctioned junk hauler. That he's been sent to here all due to the Magos Ethicurius Nectos III to basically collect some data and then he also has a secondary objective to eradicate anybody who tries to stop him. So, this is why he has that Imperial Aquila on his armor, because he's you know trying to deceive them. But again, he is none other than the Men of Iron. So that's pretty cool. Um, I feel like the more we progress with the Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress, that we'll probably get more inklings as to you know, where he came from, what his true directive is, which I believe they mentioned that he's trying to find more Men of Iron on this Blackstone Fortress, which, if that's true, that's going to be really awesome, because maybe they'll put out more models for the Men of Iron. But uh, yeah, GW's been bringing back the oldies this year, first with the squats, now with the Men of Iron, who knows what's next. But um, yeah, continuing on with this, uh, that was I guess the lore, the backstory, the shocking revelation of UR025. So now let's talk about the other characters that you can play as, beginning with the Imperium side, starting with Janus. So we have Janus Drake, no not that Drake, this Drake, there you go. So he's basically the main character, he's the rogue trader that was sent here by the Imperium. And gameplay-wise, he's pretty much the jack-of-all-trades. You need him to be good in close combat, boom. You need him to be good in range, boom. He's, like I said, nothing special about him, you know, blah, blah, blah. Next up, we have what I thought was a Xenos at first, but it turns out that Espern Lorano is actually an Imperial Navigator. He just has, like, a weird headdress on. But anyway, Janus is here to learn about warp travel and to also reclaim some ancient relics that happen to be on this Blackstone Fortress. How they got here, I have no freaking idea, but um, gameplay-wise, he uses warp abilities as, like, support. Basically, he'll protect you with, like, a force field, or he'll buff you up with, like, warp um, strength or something like that. Moving on, we have Taddeus, the Purifier. Now, this guy is the crazy priest, the zealot, who wants to cleanse the fortress because he had a vision. That's so raven. But anyway, yeah, he's basically a two for one since he can heal, but at the same time, he's got some brutal close combat weapons with the flamer and that mace thingy. 
So he can deal damage and he can heal, which is pretty good. Next up, we have the actual zealot, Pious Vorn. So she, yes, this is a she. <laughs> she is joined in this voyage to burn the heretics. Now, whether she's doing this for her faith or basically to please her sadistic tendencies, that's up to you to decide. But it turns out that she's actually an ex hive ganger that is all about that flamer, no treble. But, uh, when. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just have to do that joke, I don't know why. But anyway, when it comes to gameplay wise, it turns out that she's not very tough. Um, pretty much, she looks tough, but she's not, and she just has a flamer. So, I probably won't be using her in my games. Moving on to the Abhumans, and we have none other than Rain and Rose. AKA Ricky Rose. But anyway, sorry guys, this is very cringy, I know. These little guys are ratlings, they're abhumans. And by the looks of what they're wearing, they used to be Astra Militara members. But uh, now they're just trying to loot and prosper from these ancient treasures that they find within the Blackstone Fortress. Um, when they fight, they're pretty much fighting like a guardsman would. They'll use their like scanners, their LAS weaponry. And from what I think is that both of these play as one unit. So if you decide to use the Abhumans, you're already at an advantage because you have two models instead of one. And then to the interesting part, the Xenos. Now it is strange that you've got the Imperium working together with Xenos when they have that Xenophobia and all that, but I'll let it slide just because the models look insane. So we will start with Amelin Shadowguide, the Eldar. So basically, she works within the shadows, as her name suggests, and she's the sniper of the team. Um, basically, her whole backstory to this is that she's trying to save her dying craft world of Baeltan. Now, if you don't know about the lore of Baeltan, it's pretty much a dying planet. <laughs> kind of the same way how Cadia has fallen, Baeltan is not doing so well. So maybe she can find the answer to save her planet on this Blackstone Fortress. Which, if it is old one tech, who knows? There actually might be some time travel. Uh, maybe some Krorks are in there. I don't know. Moving on, we have my favorite model in the entire lineup. Uh, well, minus the chaos section. We have Dayak Grek. So it's a Krupp mercenary, which already you're talking about the Tau and their empire, so two thumbs up for me. But anyway, this Krupp mercenary has been consuming the flesh of the inhabitants of this fortress, thus gaining their memories, and thus learning the deep dark secrets of the Blackstone Fortress! Now yes, that's got me super excited, because hopefully by playing this character, you could uncover the truth behind all truths of the Blackstone Fortress. And gameplay-wise, he's a pretty versatile character, so you know this is going to be my first pick, if um, if we do have first picks. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that was all the lore that was available to us via the Warhammer Community article. I will link that down at the end. And yeah, this was a pretty, pretty crazy day today. Huge freaking lore tidbit on the Men of Iron. Really crazy. I did not see that coming at all. Um, I thought it was just some Imperial robot. But uh, yeah, Men of Iron. <laughs> And uh, yeah, more lore behind the motives of the Imperium, the Xenos, and the Abhuman forces. And hopefully GW gives us some more information as to why Chaos is here, if there's any notable Chaos members amongst their rank, and we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm super pumped for this board game, Warhammer Quest, the Blackstone Fortress. Let me know what you guys think about the Men of Iron being revealed, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the comments section. As always, this is the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.